So, last night, last chance you season one OG, John Franklin III, who's 24 years of age now, competed in a 40 yard dash tournament where the winner was awarded $1 million. It was called 40 Yards of Gold, and it was hosted by Chad Ochocinco, Chris Johnson was in the building, and overall it was a pretty good event. Now, all of the participants were either on NFL rosters, had been on NFL rosters in the past, or were maybe like players on the cusp of being on the NFL roster, okay? Notable names besides JF3 include Alvin Kamara, probably the biggest name there, Dante Jackson, Marquise Goodwin, and more. The way it worked is like a standard tournament. You gotta win four total races to win the $1 million. Beat your matchup on the bracket and you move to the next round. Lose and you're out, okay? Each of the first two wins gets you $25,000 a piece. The semifinal round gives you $50,000. And then of course, if you win it all, you get the additional one milli. Now, because a lot of these guys were low level NFL players, rookies or practice players, things like that, that $1 million goes a lot further than you might think. So this was a really big deal for a lot of these guys. As quite a few of them have never even seen a million to this point in their career. Now, in the first round, JF3 took out Sinkfield, who was said to have run a 4-1 at his pro day back in 2014. So JF3 definitely didn't come in as a favorite. This was seen to be a pretty even race, but he took dude out and collected that first $25,000. After that, he ran up against Rashad Robinson, who's crazy fast, and I think he's from Plantation, Florida, same as John Franklin. Not gonna lie, I was a little bit nervous about this one, but it looked like Rashad Robinson was a little nervous himself as he false started the first time around. On the second try, both guys got a clean start, but JF3 was able to take him out as well, collecting another $25,000 on his way to the semifinal, where he ran up against Dante Jackson cornerback for the Panthers. Now, Dante came out the blocks moving, dog, like blazing fast, has smoked everybody up to that point. In each of Dante's first two races, he looked over at his opponent, kind of taunting him and slowing down right at the end. He tried to do the same thing in this race and it damn near cost him, bro. See, the thing is, JF3 was still in the race. While Dante did have a lead, it wasn't nearly as big as he thought it was. Also, unlike a lot of the other contestants who quit running the second the opponent got a step on him, JF3 pushed through the whole 40 yards. And he finished so strong that I honestly thought he had stolen this race. When they first showed the replay, the crowd literally booed because it looked like JF3 had been cheated out of the victory. But the way it's done is actually whoever body crosses first, so the feet don't count. It's gotta be the chest, knees, midsection you know, whatever like that. And the technology they had was hella impressive. And it showed without a shadow of a doubt that Dante did hold off JF3 by one one hundredth of a second, bro. One one hundredth of a second. So a little bit of showboating by Dante and it damn near cost him an extra $50,000. But either way, he eliminated JF3, which sent Dante Jackson on to the championship round as he came out of the defensive bracket unscathed. Meanwhile, on the offensive side, Marquise Goodwin had easily, and I mean easily, bro, like smoked every single person over there. And he did the same thing to Dante and won the whole thing. This suggests that the exact same thing would have happened to JF3, but he still would have got that extra 50K for making it to that round, and you just never know. While there's no doubt in my mind that Marquise Goodwin is faster, maybe something makes him mess up, maybe he stumbles out of the blocks, like, it's a whole lot of stuff that can go wrong, and like Chris Johnson was saying all night, it's only 40 yards, it's literally four seconds, so any mistake you make, you really don't have time to correct it, it's not like running a 100 meter dash. But like I said, JF3 won two rounds, took home $50,000, and the event itself was pretty good, Chad did a good job of interviewing the winners after each race, and Chris Johnson offered a lot of insight from the announcers booth. It ran pretty smoothly despite a few no-shows. They had alternates lined up and didn't miss a beat with none of that stuff, so that was good to see. The false starts got a little bit annoying at one point, but it didn't drag on too much, and all in all, I enjoyed it, man. JF3 performed well, and the best part about it all, nobody got injured so that's what's up anyway i hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did don't forget click the thumbs up button now i dropped the video on yesterday on coach jason brown from last chance you season three 
explaining how he got charged with eight felonies. If you have not seen that video, be sure to click the little button on the screen. Go check that out. Other than that, I'm gonna holla at you guys. The next time y'all hear from me will probably be a what happened to video unless some more crazy news pops off. But anyway, my name is Flimlow Raps. One.